Got these going on the car from AA Concepts. Pretty sick. They go just like that. Carbon fiber, like rear bumper thing things. Pretty dope. Today, we're actually heading to Sensational. I have a couple of really like tiny dings in the hood. So I'm gonna go to Sensational and have those taken out. And then this has been curing long enough to where we're gonna be able to PPF it. So I'm gonna go ahead and PPF the hood. And then the entire front end is protected. Gonna go ahead and handle that today and bring you guys along for the ride. I think I'm also gonna do my downpipe soon. Um, I'm still waiting on the exhaust tips, but I figure maybe we can just go ahead and do the downpipe while we're waiting, because I don't know how long it will take, so. I'm also swapping out the suspension on the M3 <clears throat> to the H&R uh, springs. I'm gonna get rid of those coils that I have on there. I'm just not really feeling them, so. That'll happen, I think I'm doing that on Monday, uh, depending on how everything goes with the world right now. Dude, it's amazing how good this car feels with just a couple of simple bolt-ons that I have on the car. Oh, I also want to put the downpipe in because I really want to tune the car. Uh, I want to go to stage two and I just need a downpipe in order to get there. So this car's going to sound insane with just a downpipe. It already sounds so good. But yeah, strange times right now, guys. Man, I hope everyone's staying safe out there and healthy. It's just weird. Super weird. I'm not even going to like mention the name of what it is because I think I'll get demonetized. But in other news, uh, we are, North Carolina isn't really on lockdown or anything, so we just can't be in like gatherings of more than like 10 people. And a lot of like bars and restaurants have basically closed to only carry out. Pollen season, the car stays clean for like seconds before it's dirty. <laughs> it's like there's no point in even washing it. Man, I've been on this nitro cold brew for a minute. It's just so good. It's like the perfect combination of coffee, like a little bit of sweetness. And it's, oh man, I just love it. Like the frothiness of it. I'm not even kidding when I say that like this M2 has been by far my favorite car that I've owned to date. And I've owned quite a few cars, a couple BMWs. And this car, I just, Man, I just, I am in love with the M2. And it's like everything about it, like the styling of it. The only downfall are, are like the seats, really. Like for me, it's just the seats that fall short on this car, but everything is perfect. I love, I absolutely love the way that this thing sounds, man. Like the N55B to the M2 is just, sounds so good. It's such a good sounding car and the way that it responds. And I'm doing a video uh, this weekend, like a two month ownership review of the car. And um, we'll go a little bit further into depth of, of what I think about it right now, but dude. <laughs> Running low on rations. <sighs> All right, pulling up to the shop. Sensational. Looks like everyone's here. It's our death guy. All right, so to show you guys what we did on this vent here, so I had a lot of people asking about it is we laid foam, adhesive foam, all the way around it. 
so you can kind of see here how the foam is. This is just temporary, but it did work. Um, simple adhesive foam. Laid it all the way around, and then on the back, we just have black duct tape to block it off. So that's kind of what I'm rocking right now, but this works. I mean, the nice part is the black, you can't, can't really see it when it's on the car. But, um, and sound still passes through it too, which is nice. So you still get a lot of that loud intake engine noise, but it doesn't let water in. So it's kind of my remedy for right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and slap these on. These are from AA Concepts, uh, carbon fiber bumper fangs, I guess you could say. But um, I'll show you how they go on. This is just simple 3M tape. Pop them off and throw them on the rear end. Let's go take a look. Got G-Wiz working on the dents. I had a few in the back and a few in the front, so he's handling that. So these really just pop on like so. Um, like that, they kind of go on the side. And they're pretty cool. Just a little addition. Looks weird right now, but wait until I throw it on, you'll kind of get an idea. So these are AA Concept who makes these and they make a ton of different carbon products. There's actually a few things I'm looking at, but um, if you guys are interested, I'll link these down below for you. You can hit them up. I think they look sick. I like them. It's definitely different. So I'm gonna live with them for a little bit, see how I like them. Might change it up in the future. These would look really good on a darker car, for sure. It's a little bit much on a white car, but... <sighs> He's farting and I'm trying to vlog over here, bruh! This dude. This dude. What do you got for me, G-Wiz? So I'm gonna drop below Buddy's information. Buddy's doing all the dents on the car. If you guys need any dent removal done, hit him up. I'm gonna leave his socials down below. Get this thing looking good. All right, so we got the hood prepped. A little bit of alcohol. Here's the Expel PPF. This is the same stuff that we have on the front end of the car. Obviously with the new hood, the hood is not PPF. So we're gonna go ahead and lay that down on this car. I think I'm just gonna do like a point of view style video for this. Hold this thing in my mouth while we do it. Hood is fully covered in PPF. Looks good. Got the vent back in. Super clean. We're gonna throw a little bit of ceramic on it. Some light. Just a little bit of top coat. And we'll be all set. So that means the entire front of the car now is protected by PPF, which is great because you don't have to worry about rock chips or anything. So, all good. All right, we are good, man. That was like the last piece of the puzzle to protecting this car, just getting it into a state where I can just drive the heck out of it. We're all set now. Are 
yeah, we did a little bit of ceramic coating. Obviously got the PPF on the hood, which was my biggest thing because that paint was just like brand new and pristine. So once it finally cured, we we're able to throw on the uh, Expel PPF and then a little bit of ceramic. It's one of those things like you just feel so much better once you get it put on, you're like, okay, cool. I don't have to worry about it anymore. I can just go ahead and drive the car, make videos and move on. And that was like the final, the, the final thing I had to do was PPF the hood. So now we're good. We are good. Shout out to Sensational for killing it as always. So you guys can tell me what you think about those little rear fangs I put on. I, I like them. I think they're pretty cool. I'm going to run with them for a little bit and we'll see how long they actually last on the car. But I have a photo shoot tomorrow morning. So I'm going to wrap this one up, head home, get some food, hit the bed early. I got to wake up at the crack of dawn to go to this photo shoot for sunrise. And I'm going to bring you guys along. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Peace.